evening um we are back again with yeah or is it given recent news um we're back again with another um episode of our rise of the rune lords campaign so let's get into what happened last week um you guys started out by fighting against uh mammy mammy girl as well as uh three of her zombified uh kids that had died as well as uh another of them that uh led you here under the pretense of being the surviving member of the family that was going to beat all the all the kids out but instead he uh turned on you guys um the fight was pretty uh pretty intense at certain points as uh Cade went down and several others in the group were pretty badly hurt uh but you guys did eventually emerge victorious and you collected some interesting pieces of loot including uh Mammy's spellbook as well as a belt of uh giant strength and um a plus one uh spear from one of the ogres uh from that point um, Shalelu and Ursuline both uh, looked around the rest of the, the floor of the house, finding a staircase that leads to a basement. However, um, you guys decided to check out the barn first. And what you found in the barn were six more uh, of these ogrekin creatures. Um during the fight against them, uh, you guys had a large area covered by some thorny vines as well as some of uh, Cade's haunting mists. At one point, one of the ogres made it to the double doors in the back of the barn and let out a creature that he only referred to as Biggin, which was a huge uh, spider that added some more uh, complications to the fight. Uh, but you guys eventually worked your way through killing everyone um in, including some interesting tactics uh involving closing the the barn doors and cracking them open briefly for a dream to throw a bomb in or someone else to shoot or a spell and you guys basically just let the the um terrain spells that have been cast uh do most of the work at the end of the fight um you guys went along the catwalks to to the back room of the barn where you found three men who had been uh, locked in a cage. Uh, all of them were unconscious. Uh, you found uh, one of them has uh, an eye patch over his right eye. Uh, he's more like middle-aged, has a goatee. Another one was a pretty big dude. Um, darker skin, shaved head, also goatee. Uh, he was, he looked like probably the, the, the brawn of the, of the trio. And then there was, um, a, a skinnier guy with long red hair, um, who appeared to be more of, uh, the, the sneaky type or a, a, a finesse type, uh, fighter. Um, Dino provided some good berries for, uh, all of them to, uh, regain consciousness as uh, Shalalu and um, some of the others uh, helped out with sort of like force feeding the good berries to these guys. And uh, we left off with um, Shalalu just placing her hand on the man that had a goatee as um, or the eye patch rather uh, as, as they uh, begin to stir and awaken. So, You all watch as the the left eye of this man opens, and he sees uh, the first thing he sees is uh, Shalalu with a concerned look on her face. Um, you then watch as the the other two guys wake up as well. Um, they are slowly but surely looking around the whole barn area, um, and you can tell that. Uh, the, the realization of what they're doing here and 
what's happened is starting to come to them. Uh, based on where all the tokens are, uh, Dino, if you could make a perception check for me. I dance. That's the wrong character sheet. That's the right character sheet. Okay. So uh, you're looking at these three guys as they're waking up. Um, you notice uh, a familiar looking um, symbol uh, you see on the, uh, the long haired guy over here. Um, he has a tattoo. Uh, let me find exactly where it is on his body. Um see here uh the tattoo is of the familiar um seven pointed star that you've seen on a few different uh pieces of artwork or even items such as the uh medallion that dream wears um he has the tattoo on his uh i think it's on his arm um let's see here fuck where did i see that tattoo before yeah it's on the uh it's on the inside of his left wrist is where the tattoo is um but yeah, you you know that it matches uh, the the symbol that's on the medallion that Dream wears. All right, question. Yeah. Uh, what did the symbol of the Rangers that we're supposed to be looking for? What does that look like? So, uh, what, when you saw it was on the um, the blanket, uh, the patches. Uh, that one was um, a symbol of uh, multiple different. Uh, arrows um the the patch itself is shaped like a like a shield and um yeah there's several arrows and they all appear to have um obsidian uh arrowheads fuck not the same yeah it's not the black arrow symbol well i can't do much in uh, dinosaur form so i'm gonna wild shape back into my human one okay um as you're doing that, um, uh, eye patch guy looks at uh, Shalalu and he he begins to slowly just push out words as his body will allow. Uh, he looks at her and he says, "I I don't know how you found me, but I do know that I don't deserve your kindness." I don't deserve to be alive either. Not after what I did in the wake of the dragon attack. And she shakes her head and she just says, trust me, we're going to talk about all of that later. But for now, all I want is to get the three of you out of here, ideally alive. What happened to you guys? And he, uh, he, he takes, he takes a minute and, those of you who are close enough to see him, you can kind of tell that he's like piecing everything together in his head. Still, he, he says we were too late by the time my patrol had returned to Fort Rannick. It had already been sacked by the ogres. We were forced to flee and we ran right into the clutches of these disgusting mutts. Um, from, Directly in front of you, Dino, uh, you see the, the bigger guy um, starts to sit up and he says, we almost had to drag you away from danger, kicking and screaming, Jakardros. What the hell's gotten into you? And um, he responds, now's not the time, Vale. We could talk about that after we've taken the heads of every last one of these freaks. For now, the three of us yeah. need to focus on getting out of here alive. And at this point, uh, 
uh, Jakardros, he he looks at each of you in turn, and he just says, And what about all of you? I take it you're working with... We in the category of freaks. I, I take it you're working with Shalalu here, and what do you what do you lot call yourselves? Okay, just kind of stunned, looks around, and goes, "Wait, you don't have a group name, do we?" Um, I'm, but I'm Dino. Okay, just kind of scratches her head, goes, "Well, I'll, I'm Kay. You have a name, guys. What's your name?" Uh... Uh... He uh he sort of like weak point savers? He he weakly reaches his hand towards uh Dino and says, It's a pleasure. I'm gonna shake his hand. He gives you like a, a like a, the tiniest bit of a nod just because of the condition he's in, but uh just a little nod of approval. Anyway, don't worry too much about getting out of here alive. Most of the ogres should be dead. That's good. That's good. I wonder where our stuff is, though. I'm just currently begging for my pot pie. Um, but yeah, he uh he looks at uh Vale, the bigger guy, and the other one who hasn't given his name yet. Um, and he says, "Well." Vale here could probably put up a fight with just his ar- his arms and legs, but I'm sure that I speak for everyone when I say that we're not much help unless we have our gear. Hmm. I don't recall seeing any gear. In fact, the only place we haven't searched is the basement. The basement. You know, yeah, I heard- everywhere else is cleared out. You know, I heard some really disgusting noises coming from the basement before they knocked us all out. So find disgusting. Well, primarily it, it sounded like um it sounded like rats, but these weren't ordinary hey, rats. Hey, Kane, there's rats. Also, they're not ordinary rats. No, these these weren't any kind of ordinary rats. These are just Look, Molly, no, we're not doing this. Sorry. Monstrous rats. These sounded gigantic. Kay just kind of shrugs the way she If you guys want me to go down and check, I can. Yeah, I could go with you, because we know you're squishy. I give a little glare at you and say, I am slightly squishy. Incompetent as I could be as simple as simply talking to them. If they were anything like that giant spider we just fought, they're going to be on the same side as the ogres. The fire pellet <laughs> walks over and uh, nuzzles up next to the And um, he, he looks at it and just says, Oh, Kib, my friend, I'm so glad you're alive. He just kind of looks and goes, we, couldn't, we, couldn't, we can't let animals die. Animals don't die in our books, guys. Like, even if you guys don't make it out, I'll make sure your cat does. I mean, I saved your cat. Well, I'm just saying, our party in general doesn't let animals die. Okay, it just looks over. <laughs> My cat. Yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> Anyway, we're almost done. All that's left is clear out the basement, and we'll be free to head back. And then when we do get back, there's some stuff I'd like to ask, if you don't mind. All the loot. He, uh, he just, he looks at you, he says, certainly. Um, he turns, he turns, uh, down the line, and he says, quiet one over there. His name's Kaven. Where is he caving into? He gets that a lot. <laughs> I think you prepared for me, haven't you, Tim? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> As you're writing notes, yeah, she's definitely going to comment on this name. 
I'm um, sorry, go on. <laughs> Shalalu uh, is going to take out uh, her. She has a wand of uh, cure light wounds, and she's going to start spending charges on the three black arrows. Okay. Oh, they are the black arrows. I thought they weren't because none of them had the symbol. Well, they kind of are probably clueless right now. Well, all their all their gear has been taken, and um, you just the only symbol you saw was the one tattoo that Caven has. Um, huh. But yeah, they're the clothes that were left on them. They're basically just wearing like rags, like whatever their underclothes were have kind of been like ripped and tattered a bit. Yeah, there's no uh, there's no indication that these are the black arrows, but um, Shalalu knows that for certain this is Jakardros and. Uh, he, she knows that he is uh, among them. So, okay. She, uh, she spends. I she spends uh, five charges on. Did you just call her shampoo? No. <laughs> yeah, you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> she spends about a handful of charges on each of them, um, and. She uh she looks at all of you and she says, If if it's alright with you, I'm going to stay behind oh. and, and tend to them and make sure that nothing comes back for them. Um Does anyone need to be healed before you go? This looks at you yeah. mm, completely changed. And I, for the record, I think it's for the better. Where is everyone? I'm in the hallway with Kat. And then I wave my hand up and down enthusiastically and be like, yes, I could use some help. All right, so Ooh, yeah. this needs to be half on health. Yeah, it looks like uh, Dream could use some help too, so she's going to spend uh, three charges on each of you. Thank you, thank you. Kate recovers 20, 24 hit points and Jareem recovers uh, 15 hit points. She says, um, right then, I'll I'll guard the door and do my best to protect these these three men here. Good luck. Hi, Ray. All right, give us a shout if uh, something goes down. I'll come get you. You'll hear from me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Right, let's go, Kate's guys. Gonna look, One more Kate's room gonna look left. At her. I'm going to hand her the scroll teleport case tags in their back pocket that they get her. You hand her what? Like, oh, the, the, the teleport scroll? Uh-huh. Okay. So don't use this. So don't use this unless you absolutely need to, but make sure you guys get out alive. I would like the staff to be managed to save it, but hopefully we'll see you in time. And then on that, take us ready to head out. All right. So you guys uh, head back into the farmhouse. You... No. I was saying no to my dog. Sorry. <laughs> you... Uh track down or you go you go to where the staircase was um it's pretty uh it's pretty narrow in here so i'm just gonna need a marching order before i move tokens yeah i don't want to be in the front you I'll don't want to be front. in the front dino goes in the front okay <laughs> i need to be able to shoot and then let's have chomper go behind me so does i have to go through half the party in order to get to the fight okay um next I guess I'll go either second or third. Rizzling goes after Chomper. I'll be after Rizzling because she doesn't shoot me. Kate goes I'll there. I'll go in the back, I guess. All right, yeah, Dreaming Cat in the back. Where am I? Oh, there I am. You guys are going to be like inside of a wall for now. Um, okay, so Dino, you, you lead the way down the stairs into the basement of the farmhouse. Uh, there are three doors at the bottom of the staircase. There is one to your left, 
Uh, one to your right, which Chomper is kind of blocking right now, his token. And then there's one directly in front of you. All right, so I'm going to put my ears to the ground and try to listen for any uh, footsteps, and Chomper's going to use scent to try to figure out if anything's close by. All right, yeah, go ahead and uh, roll perception. I don't... Four. All right. Nice. Nice. Um, you don't hear any uh, creatures in the doors on your left and on your right. Um, however, you do hear some noises coming from the door straight ahead. They feel like. Or describe, do they, are they like TV taps that you hear from a rat, or does it sound like an actual footstep? Uh, you hear, you hear like some hissing noises, um, as well as uh, one set of larger footfalls. It's a, it, it, it's the, it's the rat king from Hilda, where he trades in rumors and secrets. He's gonna tap Dina on the shoulder and go, can I take a look? Like quietly. Just a moment. Let's see if Chomper can actually tell me what's in there. I'm already Chomper, uh, okay. utilizing utilizing his scent, uh, Chomper. Chomper uh, turns to you and and whispers. He says, uh, he just says five. Um. Very descriptive chopper. Five, five total. Uh, one is uh, different from the others. And the rest are uh, animal in nature. So, likely one ogre and the rest are rats. Alright, Dave. Okay. Good. He nods and says, all right, I got you. And then he goes, pops around the corner. All right, and Kate, I, I have, I, I have a plan. Like, okay, I'll help, I'll help him, and I will come back. Oh, I think the, our best course of action is for all of us to rush down the one ogre, right? Uh -huh. Kill him as soon as possible. And then after that, Cade, you try to calm down the rats. Okay, I can do that. I'll calm the rats. They're indifferent to us. Can you say this? Alright. Can everyone take one step back from me, please? Yes. Because I want to transform into a large size creature, but I don't have the I don't have the room right now. Alright. <laughs> Thank you. I got raptor time. Megadino has entered the chat. All right. And at this, I'm going to El Chompa to have everyone ready their uh, rage attack for open the door. All right, so you want everyone to ready something. Uh, so Kat will uh, load her crossbow. As far as the rest of you, you can decide whatever you're going to ready. I'll just take aim. Okay. I'll ready my spear. For your spear. Okay. Right. I was going to activate some transformation. Turn on arch. All right, once everyone's ready their action, I'm going to open the door. All right. You open the door. Oh. Oh, can I shoot it now? You see uh, two, like, big rats, like, size medium rats. Uh, directly in front of you, there's another in the corner standing behind uh, one of the ogres, and you can hear hissing, but you can't see the fourth one. <laughs> Um, as it's around the the near side wall. Uh, 
the ogre uh, immediately stands up from the chair that it's sitting on and begins uh, take it takes one step uh, towards all of you and it, it it immediately brandishes it's uh, it has a spiked chain um, can I aim at these two yeah yeah you were you were ready to, to fire all right, so I'll, ta- I'll take care of those guys mm-hmm. ah. all right so the first shot you're going misfires um, even the touch AC of these guys. A natural one always misses, and it's a misfire. Okay. So I know it's misfiring. You, um, <laughs> yeah, you. So that means the second one wouldn't go through if the first one misfires. Well, no, because it's a it's a free action to clear, right? Because you have your you have your oh thing. yeah yeah you're right yeah, your gunslinger thing. Um, so yeah, you clear, and then you quickly fire again. Uh, that one is going to hit the. That one. Oh, you aim for the way in the back. Okay. Yeah, I have one and then two. Okay, so then yeah, you hit for uh, seven points of piercing damage. Um, Cat would also have fired her crossbow. And then I don't have to move anywhere because I have ten foot reach. I guess I'll throw my spear at the ogre. Okay. Cat critically hits the the first rat for 13 points of piercing damage. All right, uh, Dream throws a spear at the ogre. I'm throwing the... Uh... The, what, the impaler? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah that hits. Um, six points of piercing damage there. All right. Next, I'm going to use my full round action to attack the uh, the ogre. Okay. But one talon. Second talon. Bye. Bye. Am I four claw? So, Tim, just to remind you, again, ignore second attack because base attack bonus wants me to hit twice, even though I'm not supposed to. Right. So I see, I see a bite. I see, I see three talons. Oh, sorry. That's supposed to be only two talons. All right. So I'll take the first two. So thirty and twenty-one. Uh, talons, a bite, and a four claw. One four claw, you don't get multiple. Just want to make sure I have Just this one. Right. Just one. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, all of that hits. Yes. So that is 21, 44, 59. <laughs> 74 points of damage. To one let's go. Uh, it I'm is not. The rat. I'm focusing the ogre. It is. No. The, the, ogre, the ogre is not dead, but the ogre has been. <laughs> Nearly, yeah, nearly carved to ribbons by Dino's attacks. Um, with, Initiative? Uh, well, was Kate holding anything? Okay, yeah, I didn't know if you were like holding a crossbow shot or anything like that. Um, no, I was a color spray, and I said that, so I'm not gonna say it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's let's roll some initiative. Meeting a pot pie. My dog keeps begging for my pot pie. I don't blame the dog. Pot pie is delicious. Yeah, but like she keeps clawing at me. Oh my god, no! Did she make you spill your food? You should probably no, make her get back to bed. No, I rolled the <laughs> Fifteen, not too bad. Second one of the night. I've made six. She keeps moving my fucking mouse. Okay. hasn't rolled yet. 
One, two, Me. three, four. Yeah, Kate hasn't rolled yet. Uh, do I need to roll but for I, you? No, I actually got my last one for you. I found it and I got it for this, so I'm rolling right. Nice. I wish I didn't roll it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, well, I rolled really something to brag about. <laughs> we should have let you do that. Uh, learn that the hard way. Alright, so, uh, the donkey rats all rolled high, except for one of them. So, uh, three of them are going, well, two of them, because that's how many you can get in reach. Uh, two of them are going to rush forward. Uh, they're going to try and bite Dino. Does uh, Dino's AC go up now that he's bigger? Yes. It does. Uh, and he has mage armor, so it's it's really high right now. Um, so the attacks, uh, the first one is a 15. That does not hit. And the second one is a natural one. The, the third one is going to see that it's kind of congested by the doorway. It's kind of just going to stay where it is. So now it's Cat's turn. Um, Cat is going to reload her crossbow and fire through the whole mess of people and try and hit the first rat that she sees. I like how you don't do fumbles. That's a 14. Yeah, I don't like. I used. To, we used to do fumbles like all the time in various games that I was in, but I don't really think fumbles are fun, so I stopped doing them. They are. They're like the fun kind of fumbles. Like, you know, you're trying to target a certain thing to make it big, but you end up hitting, you know, your teammate. And now your teammate's huge for like the next hour. Yeah, see, like, spell things like that can be fun. But, um, you know, the whole like. You do not want me, want me to roll that once. You please lay down. Harder than cat. But yeah, I, I don't. I, I don't think that. I don't think that fumbles are uh, are particularly fun, especially the the kind where it's like, oh, you stab yourself and deal damage like to yourself. I, I don't think that's fun. Uh, anyway, it's uh, Dream's turn. Um, can I move up to that room? Uh, you can kind of squeeze past people. Um. But it is a pretty narrow uh, hallway. I'm not even letting him move my toe. How high is the uh, hallway at the moment? Like, how high is the ceiling? Yeah. Um. It's not super high. Like you're, uh, you're, you're fairly close. You and Chopper are fairly close to like ceiling height. Oh, never mind. I was gonna suggest flying, but I don't think it's gonna help. Yeah, down here probably not gonna do you much good. Oh, flying does give him enough room, and uh, he does have more fly speed than walking speed. Yeah, yeah like Dream, Dream would would have an easier time trying to fly past everyone and squeeze into the room that way. Um, but it's not as open of a space as the barn or other rooms of the house. Uh, okay, I guess... Um... I don't know. I'm gonna throw a grenade behind the rats. Alright, so Dream goes fire in the hole and throws a grenade. Uh, so where? Like about here? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay, uh, unfortunately that's not a confirm. Um, but it's still a hit. Uh, let's see here. That is going to hit this rat and the ogre. 
reflex saves to avoid. Okay, the rat makes it with a 16. Ogre makes it with a 15. So they each take six points of damage. Um, and fort saves for the poison. 24, 18, they both make it. Uh, all right, what's uh, Babu doing? Scratch him up. Scratch him up. You you, you put him wherever you want. I just. I'll be right back before my turn. Don't worry. All right. All right. Nice. Uh, which one's he scratching up? Uh, the one under him. The one right under him, okay. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. Uh, the f well, the first one hits. So, uh, two points piercing damage. Um, the second one, the, the rat just, uh, ducks down and avoids the, the strike. Okay. Next is the last rat's turn. Um... This rat is going to... Hmm. It's going to hold, actually, for now. So, uh, yeah, it'll be Dino's turn. All right. Now it's time for a nice town attack against the Ogre Boy. All right. We're styling. Uh, 16 misses. Damn it. Second talent. 32 hits. Uh, yeah, you you slash the ogre uh, in the throat. And it falls to the floor uh, face first. Um, you can see as it hits the ground, it has, like, a deformed, like... I don't, know, I don't really know how the best way to describe this. Like, it's a it's a growth on the back of his neck. But it almost looks like uh, like a conjoined twin of some sort. Oh, well, inbreeding will do that to a man. It's really gross looking, but he's dead. Oh, his, his, now the front of his throat looks just as bad as the back of his throat. That's both my talons, and I'm going to focus... That one, because he looked at me funny. Okay. Let's take that's the ruler. All right. I have a bite and a four claw left. Mm -hmm. oh, bite. Fifteen misses. Shit. Four claw. Uh, twenty-six hits. So that's uh, twelve points of uh, slashing damage. As you. And uh, I can't get Chomper any closer the rat. because they're blocking the door. Oh, I end my turn. All right. Uh, Ursulin, your turn. Okie dokie. I'm going to shoot again. Okay. Mm, ba bam Oh, something. Uh, the 13 misses. Uh, which one are you aiming at? Uh, the closest one, I guess. Closest one. So 22 hits. Uh, that's 14 points of damage. One of these days, I'll get a critical hit. One yes. of these days. Someday. As the rat kind of Triple recoils. Down the bingo. On the blast. Yeah, Urzalan finally crits. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but the thing we is, like... bingo? Can I have a we card? We have a bingo. Did you, did you not look chat. at the bingo card? That I made? No, where is it? It's in the... Well, it's in the group chat and, and, it's, and it's on the Pathfinder Discord channel as well. Um, while you're doing that, uh, it is Cade, <laughs> it is Cade's turn. Far ago was it like? Before I put all the music on. Uh, uh, I put it in there like before we first met up. Yeah. I found it. I thought it was a picture. All right, uh, Cade, it's your turn. Wait, can I? I want to. I want to play it. So Gage's kind of stuck in uh, the giant window. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Mm -hmm. And just pass a murderous command on the farthest rat. On the furthest rat, okay. Actually, no, the second furthest, because the ogre is still alive, right? No, the ogre's dead. No, okay, cool. He I was right. So far. The way you said that made me panic, and I was like, did I mess with that? <laughs> no, so it's that one. And I'm going to roll my like that. All right, so I assume what you're just commanding it to kill its friends, or? Yes. All right. Uh, okay, will saving throw. Oh, uh, I got to rob his late one, so that was good. Twenty-one. Why oh, the monster stat block? You I have. Don't know what the monster means. You have. You have looked it up before. Oh, that's true. Well, I don't know what these are, so I can't look them up. You said rat, so I'm kind of confused. I am legend. I can't do much more. All right. I mean, I, oh, I, I adjusted the stat blocks for these anyway, so you're not going to be able to find exactly what it is. Uh, all right, so... I'm, I'm crossing off shitty NPC accents, because that's never going to change. The rat is... The, the rats are going to squeeze... Past, and the two of them, the two of them together, are going to attempt to push open this door here. You really are making a break for it. Uh, it's a twelve and a fifteen with their combined strength. Uh, that's with an eight and another. It'll be a seventeen. Uh, they do manage to push open the door. And they get inside. Uh, this one in the back is going to charge at Dino and try to bite. That is... Thanks to your mage armor, that's not a confirmed critical. Uh, as it was a natural 20 and then a 25 on the confirm. Uh, so that is 12 points of piercing damage. Okay. It is now Cat's turn. Um, Cat will uh, crossbow again. Uh, that shot misses as it sails uh, past the, the rats and uh, crashes into the wall at the back of the room. And it's now Dream's turn. Oh, Dream! Um, I'm gonna throw a regular bomb. This time. Regular bomb. <laughs> Fire. Fire. Fire in the hole once again. Same spot. All right. Uh, yeah. Eleven misses. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Alright, Papu's gonna get him. Get him. Uh, okay, second one hits, so one, one point of piercing damage as Babu scratches him up. Alright. It is the next rat's turn. Uh, this rat is gonna follow its brethren and kind of squeeze through and scurry into the room to the south. And it's now Dino's turn. Hi, question. Yes. Can I roll sense motive to see why they're trying to move? Sure. Well. Uh, you you think that it's just the fight or flight animal instinct kicking in. Hmm. I do one more roll before um I wanna roll uh wild empathy to try to make him stop, but I'm not sure if I can or not without wasting my action. Yeah, I would say I would say one skill check per turn is like a swift action. Yeah, fair enough. 
All right, in that case, let me do my full round of actions because why not? All right. All right. Which one of them hit me? Well, wait. Actually, yeah, no. It, it, making making the check is a swift, so that that would mean that you just you get one attack. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, which one hit you? Uh, which one hit me? It was. It was this one, I believe. Yeah, it was it was this one. All right, I'm hitting him. All right. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, no, fifteen is not uh, not a hit. All right, Chopper's also going to go for a bite because he he finally can. Yep. He's not. That's not a hit. Jump or roar trying to make him back off. Yeah, you can roll intimidate for that. God damn it. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Yeah. All right. All right, that's my turn. Ursuline, your turn. So, wait, did any of uh, Dino's turns last more than five minutes? No. <laughs> okay. Damn. <laughs> not yet. Okay. Yes. Wait till I get my summoning. Yeah, he hasn't summoned anything yet. Did he make ten rolls on his turn? No. Ah. Uh, damn it. Okay. Playing bingo uh, against yourself over here. Yeah. Uh, well, I I can only shoot this this guy because y'all are in the effing way. Plus, I could do some cool matrix shooting, but no. Oh wait, I'm on my fifth shot. Damn. I can only shoot once. Yeah, shoot once, then you gotta reload. <laughs> yeah, that's a critical. Um, so that is. You've been waiting for this the entire campaign. Fifty-six points of damage. I'm, I'm happy. Leave me alone with your claws. Uh, it has to make a save or something, right? Uh, I think it's to not check. be deafened. Uh, yeah, it's to not be deafened. Let me check. Hold on. It is... Does not say... I looked it oh. up. Yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> Get out of here! Jesus Christ, Molly! Oh. EC 14, uh, fortitude save, otherwise it is permanently deafened. <laughs> is it still alive after all that? It is, actually. Oh my god! That rat had only taken one point of damage so far, uh, and its fortitude save is a 28. Damn! But it still got hurt, and everyone is like, what the fuck just happened? Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's bleeding horribly, yeah, so... The, to, the the sound of Ursuline's rifle is significantly louder than normal when firing this shot. It you you know that she got a good one in. The magic was with me on this one. Yes. Yeah, right, so I just go wild. Through, um, so I can move uh, more than five feet because I didn't take the second shot. Uh, I'm going to let's see. Mm, how far can I move? 20 feet? Uh, I think so, because you are carrying a medium load. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to crawl underneath Dino and uh, Chomper. And I'm going to go like, right, yeah, right there. Oh, no, that's too close. I don't like that. Um... Oh well, I've made my errors. Um. <laughs> yeah, you you <laughs> crawl around and you look to your left and there's an open doorway and the other three rats are. Harrison's like looking Harrison's at you, on the floor, army pissing crawl at you, and then looked over and I go, ah, oh, fuck. Well, we can check off Ursuline does something reckless on the bingo card. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we can. It's now Cade's turn. <laughs> do something, Cade. Oh. Oh. Old red. Uh, 
I'm gonna go back to TikTok while I oh, while Ellie's I muted. contemplate my life decisions. So Kay's gonna look at the rat that they can see and say, "I don't know if it's Wait, and then I'm gonna command it to stop. All right, so, so man spell. All right, we'll save fifteen. Uh, 17. Everything so saves against gonna... Cade's spells. Check on the bingo card. <laughs> yeah, like, um, I'm gonna put it under my hypnotic stare because I should have done that first. Alright. And I'm gonna angrily glare at it. And I'm gonna put some plant the uh, levitation trick into my head. Okay. Cool. And I am ready. I'll ladle this shit in. All right, so uh, it's now three of the rats' turns. Um, two, of the first two are going to uh, bite the now prone Urzlin. <laughs> as she crawled right up into their faces. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see here. Where is my? There. Uh, 13 misses. Uh, 29 hits. That's 11 points of piercing damage. Oh, you fucking oversized cat treat. Get over here. All right. Uh, the third rat is going to uh, try and bite Dino. Uh, 19, which misses. And that brings us back to Cat's turn. Uh, Cat is going to hashtag crossbow. That's going to hit as she shoots that one at the other end of the hallway. Uh, three points of piercing damage, and that rat is now looking really rough. It is Dream's turn. Fuck him up. Can I still see the ogre? The ogre Where's is that? the ogre's dead. He's he's been, been he, oh, he's been he dead. Is. Yeah. Right. Um, I'm throwing another grenade at this motherfucker. All right. Dream just goes grenade. <laughs> oh, I'm on. Uh, yeah, 20, 25 hits. Um, it's going to be... Okay, got to make a fort save. 29. Play takes uh, five points of damage, and at this point, the rat is basically looking for something to put it out of its misery. So, Babu could could be that that creature to do it. Babu is just gonna swoop down on him. Oh, yeah, that's not that that ain't it. Come on, Babu. Babu could not do it to him. Next is the last rat's turn. It will join its brothers. In, oh my God. Join its brothers in biting Ursuline for her transgressions. And uh, that that one's a critical. I actually rolled double natural 20s. What? Uh, Ursuline takes uh, 26 points. What's happening? You're getting bit Get by the other rat. Son. You bastard. 20, oh my god. 26 points of piercing damage. Uh, I didn't know they were there. Because this is a critical, I'm going to have you do this right away. Roll a fortitude save for me, please. I'm semi good at those, I say, as I fail. That is a failure. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> you... Alright, what can I cross off now? Uh, well. You will be. 
You are afflicted by a disease. Ah. Uh, I can't catch feels. Wait, is it the sexually transmitted kind of disease, or is it like that skin disease from the? Yeah. 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 Get tested for tetanus after this. Can, can I make a check on my turn to see what the, what the fuck I was just infected with? Sure. Uh, but for now, it's Dino's turn. Alright, I was debating while empathy, but after that, they need to die. There's a few rules he follows, and that's one of them. All right. which, which, wait, which one is the most hurt, apart from the one that's like... Uh, that, that would be... One. One hit from death. I have bigger fish to fry. That this, one. this one is the next most hurt. Alright, I'm going for that one. Okay. Talon. Yeah, that, that hits. 29. Second Talon. Uh, 19 misses. Alright, next, we're going for a bite. Okay. Oh, we ain't. 15 misses. Screw it. For my last uh, four claw, I'm turning off power attack. All right. I need to hit this fucker. Four claw. Yeah, uh, 25 hits. Um, Damn it. That rat, uh, the rat still stands, but like, like the one that's on its last legs, it's also now very, very badly hurt. Umpire, finish him off. Uh, Chomper, yeah, is right there. Chomper wouldn't be able to reach that one because it's like around. Fuck. It's around like the door frame. That one, Chomper. It, yeah, it, it can. You can hit that one for sure. Sixteen misses. Fuck. Oh, he's low rolls tonight. Ah, oh, diggity. Yeah, Chomper's not doing well tonight. All right, Ursuline, your turn. One of them's almost dead. Ursulin. She's muted. That's oh. all right. God damn it. Alright, uh, I guess, uh, Kate, Kate can go while we're waiting. Oh wait, never mind. She just unmuted. <laughs> Hi. Um. <laughs> it's almost dead. I was, I was watching. Yeah, one's almost dead. I'm almost dead. <laughs> I know one of them's almost dead. I'm also prone, and within ten feet of all of them, I can't shoot. I mean, I can shoot with something else, but I can't shoot with my main hitter. Well, your main your main um, hitter is doesn't have something. any ammo left anyway, so you'd have to spend your turn reloading it. Yeah, I reloaded it. Uh, yeah, well, that's true. I thought I would have reloaded it before I went prone, or is that a move action reloaded? No, reloading a rifle is the standard. Uh, no, when I'm going prone, I'm not going to reload it because I was trying to. I was trying to get here, but now I'm facing this chaos. <laughs> I'm not going to reload it. Yet. I have another gun. I'm not dumb. <laughs> I have more than one gun. Oh, I'm now, gonna, now, now um, you're not dumb. <laughs> now I'm not dumb, no. I'm going to first aim this way, shoot with the pepper box, and then aim here and shoot. Because that's the one Dino was talking about, right? Yes, that's the other badly injured one. Okay, I'm going to do that. And all the while, I'm going to be bitching about these oversized cat treats and how they're treating me. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, so you... Jesus Christ. <laughs> You turn, you turn and shoot. 
uh, down the down the remainder of the this hallway. This one's the first attack. Yeah, I know, I know. Underneath Babu. Oh so imagine me prone. I I like flip over onto my back. I I, I the gun above my head and I shoot the one, and then I go to the side and I stick my arm out and I shoot the other. Yeah, that uh that the first rat just weakly falls to the ground uh, dead. The the second shot is a confirmed critical, so that's uh, 49, <laughs> 49 points of damage. So you um you uh you turn turn your body to face oh, I get this, points back. Let's go. this I this killed two. And you you shoot and you you just blow its head off. Like it's like clean off, it's gone. And then um I'm going to is this a Yeah, I'd like to put the glove off. Alright, never mind. Um Where are my other grits? I don't like how I have everything organized and I can't I can't scroll down on my character sheet for some reason. <laughs> There we go. Uh, what are my grits again? Do I have one where I can, uh... Oh, there. Oh, well, that would be, like, your like your feats. Uh, you can... That's for a long-range shot. Uh, so the utility... This is one of range. Three shot and the quick clear are the grits, right? Yeah, uh, I, I have no grits, I so I'm gonna use my standard action. So I'm just gonna, I guess, kind of shift back a little. I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna army crawl backwards this way. Okay. <laughs> like I'm hurt. Help. So you do the equivalent of a five foot step, um, to move away, and uh, it's now Cade's turn. I can heal myself next turn and reload next turn. Two racks left. Yeah, but I can't hide. They're in hope version, they're getting in the way of their racks. Creating the fucking way of you. Like in between your giant dinosaur legs. Just being like, alright. And then Kate's just gonna look at the raft and just go pop. All right, color spray. The first one under its top hypnotic stare. The first one upstairs, yeah. Like it's pop. All right, so <laughs> stare is off of the dead one, obviously. Now on to. Yeah, I was like, I should note that that's being switched. You know, my brain was like, yes, obviously. All right, so will saving throws. I'll do the. Stare one first. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Even with a <sighs> even with a mi they even with a minus three, that's a twenty-four. And the other one rolled a twenty-seven. They both rolled natural nineteens. So I'm um, crashing and I'm gonna die. So your, so your color spray goes off and no effect. I'm just gonna try to intimidate them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, or at least I'll specifically do an intim uh, intimidating glance at the one in front of me. Alright, so yeah. As I can kick and then I'll also run a tremble for the other one. Um, Seventeen. Um okay. So The, the the rat uh, kind of gives you an angry look back and appears to be undeterred. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, my God. Top of the round. Uh, one of the rats can still reach Urzalin. Uh, the other one cannot and is going to try to bite Cade instead. Uh, so, one bite against Urzalin first. Uh, it's a 19. That's a miss. And the one against Cade. 15. That's also a miss. Um, both of them are going to back away. Uh, so, Cade, you can attack one of them. Uh, Dino, you can as well, and so can Chopper. Can I not shoot one? Or no? As he's moving away? You can you can pistol whip one. Uh, Alright, I'll pistol whip him. Ranged opportunity yeah, attacks don't really this. exist. For one of them with his rents, with his rent spear. Her long spear. Okay. Doing a talon. Just look straight into the ground. It's the 26 one. I mean, it doesn't really matter either way. I did not <laughs> know. Right. Damn it, Sean. Right. Stop rolling. Uh, Ursuline hits digit. and Dino hits. So you both catch the same one, which is the one that uh, Cade is staring at. Uh, so that's a total of 24 points of damage. That's going to end their turns. Uh, Cat doesn't really have a crossbow target now, so she's going to simply move forward and kind of just wait to see what everybody else does. Uh, whoops. Uh, Dream, your turn. Okay. Um, I can't really see anything, but I guess I'm going to have to move up. I can't move my token. Oh yeah, it's kind of, you're kind of like in a wall right now. Hold on, let me. Uh, there we go. You should be able to move it now. Alright, move up here. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you you come into this room. Uh, let me. I'll describe it real quick. Um, yeah, it's difficult to gauge the exact dimensions of this cluttered room because it's thickly packed with uh, old crates and uh, furniture and some broken farm equipment. Kind of just looks like a storeroom. Okay. No, I'm actually going to get closer to the right here. I'm not. Okay. Stab him. Stab him, all right. You get right up in the rat's face. Uh, this one? Damage rolls. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, seven points of damage to that uh, to that rat. Uh, the, the blunt end just misses completely. Uh, you'd swing just right over its head. Alright, I'm gonna give him a Scratch him up. Scratch him up. Yeah, yeah. Those are both hits. So a couple points of uh, piercing damage as the both talons land. All right, uh, Dino. All right. Well, I also can't move my token. So can you make it to where I can? Uh, well, where do you want to move to? I want to be behind one of the rats, and then I want Chopper to be on the other side. You know, something like that? Yeah. Okay. All right, first of all, Chopper is going for a charge. Is that some eye? Okay. So now, Chopper, now's the time. Much better. Uh, so this isn't going to affect whether that hits or not, uh, because obviously 27 will hit. Um, I don't think that you can charge if you have to squeeze. And both would have to get past Cade. Uh, but again, doesn't matter for this. 27 very obviously hits. Uh, Chopper's attacking this one. Or the other one. Oh, if, um, I can't charge, do you mind if I move me around? Yeah, good. I mean, you have enough... You have enough movement space, 
like to get to where you want to go anyway. Because then I won't want to take a five foot step because I can still reach him from there, and the chopper's just gonna move there. All right, so then yeah, chopper, chopper circles around. Uh, okay, but uh, yeah, he's attacking this one or the other one. Which one's more hurt? This one. That one. So yeah, chopper, chopper just uh, grabs the uh, the rat in its in its jaw in his jaws and. Has himself a nice little snack. Amazing. All right. My turn. Islands. Just one. Okay. Uh, one. So, yeah. That first one becomes a 19. That that still misses. The second one becomes a 21. That one hits. Yes. That's uh, 17 points of damage. And bite. Yeah, that hits. That's another 14. Lastly, Orclaws. Orclaw, no, uh, 13 misses. Um, then guy for trying. Yep. Uh, Chopper, by the way, uh, comes to uh, a set of double doors that are to his left uh, that are closed oh, at the moment. Those be doors. It's now Ursuline's turn. Is there an oversized cat treat still alive? There's one left. I'm just gonna... Shove past Cade, go here, and shoot it twice. And I'd be like, I've had enough of your bullshit. You're still crawling? No, I stand up and I walk through. Well, standing up is your move action, so. Oh, then I'll crawl. Fuck it, I'll crawl. All I'll right. stick my hand Call of Duty the... style. Like, crawl around, yeah, <laughs> drop, drop shot action. with the pepper box, yeah. I crawl, Call of Duty style crawling underneath Cade's leg, who is underneath. Dino and I just go and have I got enough of your bullshit and I shoot him twice. All right, so I forget yeah. that standing up as a move action. So I'll get another. Because you know you get so winded after standing up. Basically five foot step and then two shots. So go ahead. All right, yeah, twenty six hits. Uh, eighteen also hits. So sixteen points of damage. Um, the rat's looking rough. <laughs> See somebody kill it already. Working oh. on it. Cade might. It's Cade's turn. <laughs> okay. I look up at Cade between Cade's legs and I go, kill it already. He just sits it over on the I'm going to walk up to it and literally touch it with the stricken heart. Okay, um, well, seven misses. Well, I hate myself. Rather, nine, because it's flanking, but, yeah, nine, nine misses, unfortunately. Yep, that, 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 that's all, folks. All right, uh, the rat is gonna try and flee. Um, it's gonna run past, I mean, this gets opportunity attacks from everybody if you want to take them. But it's yeah, it's just gonna try and zip past everyone and leave. Oh yeah, you know I am. I'm gonna pistol whip him. Yeah, pistol whip another opportunity attack. Yeah, it doesn't if, hit. If you want, uh, spear onto the ground. Cade stabs yeah. it. Dino misses. Ursulin misses. Um, useful Kate shouts. You. Chomper misses. Uh, K. Uh, Cat will try and. How are you rolling ones? Like what the stab fuck? Stab it. Cat misses. Yeah, a lot of ones. <laughs> That's a lot of ones. Uh, really, just Dream would be the only one left that could kill it with an opportunity attack here. If he wants, if not, then he can just let the rat go. Dream. Say us Dream. <coughs> Kill it. Uh, nah, I'll let it go. Hmm? Alright, so Dream oh, allows, cross it off. allows the rat to go by as the rest of you uh, miss except for uh, Cade who manages to stab it with his with their spear. 
<laughs> Laying on the floor as the rat goes, can I make an arcana check now? Uh, this is gonna be a heal, a uh, heal check. <laughs> Fifteen. Uh, you are you are suffering from a disease called filth fever. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Did you do like to chase a thing is? down? Like in game, do I know what it is? Uh, I mean, you've you've yeah you you're probably familiar with it. Riddleport, I would imagine has at least some cases of it with all the, uh, the all the vermin around and how dingy some parts of the city can be. So yeah, you'd be familiar with it. Uh, Dino, yeah, you can you can try and catch up to the rat if you want. Cuz with my mega raptor I guess I can't full sprint. Well, you you could like charge and I thought I can't. I thought I can't squeeze the charge. Yeah, but it's not like. Hold on. What, what, how much? How much speed does it have? Uh, right now I have sixty. But I used greater long strider earlier. So well, I mean, what, uh, what, what I meant. I meant the rat. The rat has uh, forty foot speed, so it would have gone 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. It would be. It would be at like the top of the stairs right now. So, I mean, you could definitely get to it. But I can't charge it, right? No, you wouldn't be able to charge it, but you can you can move normal speed and and catch it. I'm going to do that. All right. So, yeah, go ahead and, uh, yeah, you, you take out the rat. No, uh, no loose Sorry, end. Sorry, but no as much loose... as I like to let uh, animals run away, we do have injured people away, so I can't take that risk. That's a good point. No, uh, Afterwards, no... I'm, gonna, I'm... Oh, sorry, please continue. No no loose ends here. That's all I was going to say. You're good. No loose ends. All right, all right I got to check on uh, Ursuline. She's hurt, and I think she diseased. Yeah, Ursuline looks sick. Like, the... The onset of the filth fever has uh, actually occurred quicker than normal. Oh no! I, I, make a heal I, I, take I figure out what it is. <laughs> yeah, since you don't know what it is, I'm yeah, go ahead and make a make a heal check. Fever. All right, I'm gonna cast guidance. Okay. I'm just and gonna, I'm gonna use to you that one of my charges. Fever. What are you doing? I could just tell you what it is. Yeah. All right, tell me what it is. It's filth fever. What does it do? Um, so, in, <laughs> in in game terms, uh, it's Dex and Con, I think, right? It, it's Dex and Con, but, yeah. And you would have to make uh, multiple successful saves. My in a two row strong to, points to uh, get rid of the disease without any help of magic or anything like that. Do I have magic for this? Hold on. I um, most certainly do, but is it like I, it's a minor to death and calm? But is it deadly? Well, because it's con damage, it can be eventually. If it's not, oh, yes, fuck that. So delay disease. Okay. Um, target becomes temporarily immune to disease. Any disease we're supposed to does not affect until the spell's duration has expired. Since so lasts for a full day. Uh, you must make. All right, so you have, to, level check. you have to make a caster level check against the DC of the disease. Okay. Oh, wow. So yeah, the uh, the disease for the for at least one day is not going to have any effect on you. But does it spread? Uh, you don't know. Mm, well, that would be good to know. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to quarantine like a COVID case. Oh, what, what so, kinda, uh, I'm gonna make a check to see if up. that's gonna spread. If it stops spreading while I'm delayed, what would that be? Heal? Yeah, heal check. Well, I don't know anything. Well, you know that. I'm gonna try with guidance. You know that the spread of the disease. Okay, Dino knows that the spread of the disease is. Uh, is done through uh, like an injury of some sort, like getting bitten by a rat. Um, so, so as long as I don't bite people, 
or scratch them. We're good. Yeah, it's it's like an open wound transfer, basically. So I'm gonna yeah. tell Ursuline that this is a temporary solution, but for now she should no longer be affected by it. Give me tomorrow, and I'll fix it for sure. I'm just laying on the floor, and I put my hand up and thumbs up. I'm like, yeah, sure. I'm just gonna lie here and take a moment. Oh, yeah, you're low on health, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I really am. From a scale of your estimated amount of damage you can take to what you are right now, how would you rate yourself? Oh, oh, okay, well, my total HP is 68. I'm down to 29. I'm a little mm. under half. Half being I'm 35. Right. My wand of cure light wounds, okay. please. No, I, mean, like, I can probably cure myself. I do have, I do have a spell. Chopper provides you with your wand. I don't have any spells, I lied. Okay, slash, I'm gonna use five charges. That's fair. Five, three, eight. So, would you consider her second? Plus five, yeah. Yes, I am sickened. Well, no, you're you're more than sickened. You're diseased, currently. Diseased, I am diseased. So, 19 well, points of healing. Let's use okay, five more. Five more, all right. Hey, hey, it's not sexually transmitted. Wink, wink. Well, I mean, it, pro it probably could be, but, you know, we don't know. So well, I rolled 28, so do I know? Disease is a greater effect, right? Not moderate? Disease is... Uh... Disease isn't even on here at all, which means touch treatment is not going to do anything, probably. Uh... He can remove any condition on the minor, moderate, or greater conditions list. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, like, it doesn't have to be listed here. It just has to be listed on the list of conditions that are in the room. Um, well, yeah, but it's but not... But in those tiers. But I yeah. don't know if disease counts as a tier. It's just sick and jealous. That's why I got confused. Yeah, no, no. Disease disease doesn't. Okay, never mind. I tried. Don't worry about it. Just give me tomorrow and I'll whip up some spells to either get rid of it or slow it down. He's gonna glare at you and tell, tell Dino that I'm always gonna worry about it. And I'm, like, motioning in at Erzlin and then me and then at Erzlin. Well, anyway, Ursuline should be with 2419, close, if not at full. She, yeah, she's topped off. Alright, then let's use... Five... I'll use five more for me. Okay. I'm topped off. You're also topped off. Has anyone else taken damage from the fight? Uh, well, Dream wasn't fully healed from before. But he didn't get hit at all in this fight. Hmm. Hey, Dream! Yes, sir. A rough percentage. How much health do you have? Half total. A little bit more than half. Alright, Chomper! Cure light wounds potion, please. Alright, so he gives you the potion. Uh, that's you are. going to be uh, 1d8 plus uh, 1. Either one of you can roll, it doesn't matter. Right, so, 8 points of healing for Dream. Now... Is this a plague disease? Because it comes from a rat? Uh, no, I don't think it would be considered a plague disease. Yeah, I was going to say, thank God it's not, because the plague would mean that that it doesn't, that it's, it spreads worse than just by bodily fluids contact. Mm -hmm. Which means if I cough, you all get sick. <laughs> Why am I there? Uh, but yeah, can no, I no longer be prone now? Yeah, you can stand up. 
make sure we load. Uh, but yeah, so like I said before, uh, there's a set of double doors in the southwest corner. Um, but otherwise, this uh, this is just a storeroom. All right, which way should we go? We got up, we got down. Yeah, stop being a cyberpunk. I'm not being a cyberpunk. My 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 thing literally disconnects, and then I have to connect to cyberpunks, and then connect back to hear anybody. I don't know why. up, we got down. Where are we going? Uh, loot. What's in this room? Uh, okay, so on the ogre. I'm gonna see if there's any like aura, magic aura, or anything around. Still. So. Uh, well, yeah, that would that would need uh detect magic from somebody. Um. You find. That would be Dream or Cat because I can't do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll have Cat do it. Um. Find a potion. Uh, you find. Uh, a set of hide armor, um, his uh, spike chain uh, weapon. Um, he was wearing uh, a an amulet that you take off of him. Uh, you also find that amount of gold and a uh, a small uh, tin. That uh, looks like it's been sealed with wax. As far as the mat magic, um, the armor, the spike chain, and the amulet all uh, hit for magic. With uh, the weapon and the armor being um, just kind of like a base uh, enchantment, and uh, the amulet has uh, transmutation magic in it. Alright. I'm gonna ask for the amulet so I can try to figure out what it does with uh, spellcraft. Okay. Guidance. No, nothing. You, you don't know. Um, I offered to check it out. Also, we're splitting up that gold. If there's any writing on it, I can tell us if it's any magical inscriptions or anything. Because I've read magic. Okay, sure. Cat uh, will assist as well. Boom. I know I'm gonna do it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so, the items are as follows. Hmm, that hide armor might be tempting, because I'm wearing a hide shirt. Do I need to my internet browser? Bullshit. Uh, the amulet and... is a neck slot item, by the way. Neck slot. Did I so, find in this room? I'm sorry, because I had no idea. After... I listed I listed the items in the the roll twenty chat, and you also found oh, a total nice. of two hundred and thirty five gold pieces, and uh, there was he has a a small tin on him that looks like it was sealed with wax. Um, is the hide armor considered light armor, or no? Uh, the hide armor would definitely affect your, uh, spell casting in terms of, like, spell failure Better or worse. chance. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I need hide, to... hide armor is considered medium, um, so okay. it, it would be That's a... Okay, light armor or not. It would be a 20% uh, spell failure chance. 
as well as a minus three armor check penalty. I should be minus two because it's magic. Be reduced by one. The amulet of natural armor. Does that need to be attuned, or can anyone wear it? Uh, anyone can wear it. Um, it provides a plus one uh, natural armor bonus to AC. Um, but if you already have something in your next slot, you would have to remove that. I don't think I do. I have a ring and armor and bracelets. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. Dream is wearing something in, on his next slot because he has the Sedra medallion. Um, I have that. That uh. I also have that diseases. Yeah, you got well, that no, other thing I have too. These gloves, but they're they're in my. Uh, I have I the end of my uh, fist, so I can't use either. Holding. Yeah, the periapt of health. That's. Uh... I'll use it for slender. So yeah, uh, Kat has nothing in her next slot. Music. Oh, fuck. Wait, we're not fighting anything right now, are we? Um, I'll pause it for now. A mistake on something. Thank you. Um, Can't use a Seedra medallion anymore because I'm using my Amulet Mighty Fists. Did I ever give that ring to Cade? I don't think I did. So yeah, you could uh you guys could like redistribute your neck items here if you want. I uh, know like Dream is an extra, Dino is an extra. Um there's this thing. I would love to, but the problem is um I'm all ship at the moment, so I can't really give it up. Yeah, it's fair. Can I like say that I wasn't wearing I'll it? Give someone a ring of it'll, it'll still technically really be in my inventory, so I can't give it to someone else, but because I'm already wearing something on my uh on my neck and I forgot to turn it off. Question: Did I ever give Cade that ring of sus uh, sustain? No. Oh, where is it? Cade has Cade has a ring of jumping. Um, it's not in my. It's not in my. Um, not in my bag. Oh, the ring of sustenance. Uh, yeah. I mean, if if that because yeah, you did give that to Cade, right? I might. I probably just didn't add it. I don't. I don't remember if I did. I'm pretty sure I did. That's why I was like, it's not in my bag, so it should be in Cade's inventory slot. As if Cade is wearing it. It's not in your. Uh, you're not in your bag of holding. Let me. Uh, let me see. Did I, put no. it, did I put it in Cade's bag of holding? Uh, nope, I didn't. Um, oh no, I, it's lost. No, no, it's not lost. I'll say. I'll say Cade has it. You said you gave it to Cade, so Cade has it. Um. That's taken care Depending of. how armor works, I might take the hide armor. The minus 10 to speed doesn't affect me that much, considering the fact I'm wild state more than half the time. It will need a, a very deep cleaning. Yeah. Um, so how are, we, how are we distributing that gold? Well, if you split it evenly, it'll be 47 gold per person. Oh, math. So, I say I'm down for splitting it evenly. Um, and also, I will take that ring of sustenance. What does it do? I didn't put the details in yet. Um, so, the ring of sustenance, it uh, obviously wear it as a ring. Um, you you can wear that and the ring of jumping at the same time. You're just on opposite hands. Um, so the ring um, continually provides its wearer with life sustaining nourishment. It also refreshes the body and mind, as the wearer only needs to sleep two hours per day to gain the benefit of a full rest. Um, Hi. Yay, I like that. This allows a spellcaster that requires rest to prepare spells, which is not you, to do so after only two hours. Um, <laughs> But this does not allow a spellcaster to prepare spells more than once per day. Uh, Why is there a shard of glass in my bed? The ring... Okay, so this ring, uh, it has to be worn for a full week before it takes effect. 
Um, I would have given it to her after Magnamar. I think that's where I got it, right? Yeah, and it would have been a week by then. Yeah, by now. So yeah, uh, yeah. Would have given it to her uh, during the travels between Magnamar and Riddleport. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember that. So yeah, it would have been more than a week. Uh, so. I'm sort of if, surprised none of those effects were taking place. Also, if you remove the ring, you it resets you and you have to it. you have to wear it for another week to sort of reattune. <laughs> it's basically a commitment ring. <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, so. Uh, going back to something, uh, Tristan, that you were saying, um, what about those, uh, next slot items? Like they were both turned on on your sheet. Yeah. I they... did not know that. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I mean, I assume you, you want to, we're going to turn off the, uh, you already turned off the medallion. Um, yeah, because I definitely value the, uh, my fist one. Otherwise I wouldn't have made it. Right. Uh okay so that's taken care of then so yeah no no harm done um I mean plus one to all your saves you know that's that is what it is I mean I'm not I'm not too uh concerned about it so um but uh if no one else wants it I I want the hide armor well cat can't wear it Ursuline probably shouldn't wear it um wear what the hide armor. Uh, no, yeah, no, definitely not. I thought we were talking about the amulet of natural armor. We're like, I'll take that. Wouldn't mind beefing my my AC that way. I recommend waiting for Edge to come back to give it to him. Boy needs AC. Yeah, I mean, I could still wear it. It doesn't require two men. No. I could just give it to him. That's true. You, she could wear it in the meantime. I I agree with that statement. I have no problem with giving it to Edge when Edge comes back. That I will do. But for now, it needs to be of use. Alright. So what about dreaming, uh, A? I think Cat should get the chain. Oh, actually, wait. Uh, hang on one second. I mean, um, if you want to give the amulet to either Cade, Dream, or Cat, the squishy games, you can do that too. One second. I recommend give it to Dream because he's more on the front line than Cade. He has a he has an amulet already. So oh, Ursulin, uh, yeah, the the amulet actually does nothing for you because what comes from your because of my natural armor. Yeah, because of your hex. So, uh, yeah, so yeah. It, it doesn't stack. What does that mean? Uh, Cade could wear it. Cat could wear it. Um. That's those are the only two that don't have uh, next slot items or any other thing that would affect or that would cause it to not work. Uh, let me just make sure yeah, you don't have any natural armor boost. Cat, I don't think has any natural armor boost either. Cat also has abysmally low AC compared to everybody else. But yeah, give it to Cat then. I mean, to be fair, Cat should uh, she should never be in the front line anyway. Versus Cade sometimes has to. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with it going wherever. I'm just, I'm just trying to help How make the decision easier. How about we give it easier. to Kate for now because Cat can't, Cat's not here to make her make that decision. And when she comes back, we'll talk about it. That sounds fair to me. And it's, it's even better because it doesn't require a two min, so like it, it can really go to anyone. We'll yeah, you guys can just, it. you guys can just pass it around. Yeah, I'm down. And once I. Out of my wild shape, we're in a good position. I'm gonna get my hide armor if nobody minds. But for now, Chomper's gonna carry it. Okay, sounds good. All right, back to the task at hand. Do we go down or do we go up? Do we go left? They oh, are both left options. That's the problem. Left. Left. <laughs> oh, they are. Wow. All right. Um, dealer's choice. I don't care. Check it off. The party goes left. <laughs> Amazing. I'm gonna go to this door. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try use scent. 
Uh, okay, so there is nothing within 30 feet. All right, next I'm going to put my ear to the ground and see if I hear anything moving about. All right, roll perception. I heard. 23. Okay. Um, you hear faintly uh, the sounds of some some kind of creature um, kind of seems like it's uh, thrashing about. Thrashing about. Hmm. We'll relay this information to the others. It's further than 30 feet away, but something's there. Do we want to avoid it or go through it? It asks. That's the thing. I have no idea what's on the other side. Can I tell if... uh, Is there like a keyhole in the door or something? Uh, There is, yeah. Can I peer through it? You can. Uh... You have uh, you have dark vision, right? Yep. Okay, so you look through the the crack in the doors. Um, about twenty feet away is another set of doors. Uh, there doesn't appear to be anything else in the hallway. Babu, I kind of shrug and I say, "Well, the, the hallway seems clear." What What does Babu need to do? I don't know. I said. Go face through walls and stuff, I guess. Alright, yeah. I remember you saw it half health. Did I heal him a decent amount? Yeah, he's up to 50. Where is Babu? Oh, fuck. Babu's under you. Yeah, that won't do. Aim hold still. Chomper, a wand, please. Chomper, once again, provides you with the wand. Let's heal him with five charges. All right. So that's. Charger, we're all investing into this type of shit because this stuff is expensive. Yeah, it's a lot of charges used tonight. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, Dream is, is easily topped off by that. Five charges on my little boy left. I have another wand, but unfortunately, for some reason, I'm holding it instead of Chomper. Mm. So that's bad. Yeah. Uh, okay, so um, what's the plan? Bab- Babu's going through? Yeah. All right, so Babu goes through, um, kind of flies flies about, comes back. Um, tries to tries to indicate to Jareem that that room is empty. It said the room's empty. Right, but supposedly there's another set of doors, and those for sure have something in it. So in the next room, room, let's check for traps. Then we'll see what's there. All right. So uh, the doors, uh, someone, one of you, I assume, opens the doors. Um, Leading to what is simply a hallway that extends for about 20 feet, ending in a second set of double doors. I'm going to make sure the room is trapped. I don't trust anything at this point. All right, roll perception. I don't. 29. There are no traps. All right, I'm going to approach. I'm going to use my scent again, because surely this time I should be able to smell it. Okay. Uh, yeah, this time you do. Uh, there is um, one creature within the 30 feet. Does my scent give me anything else? What does it smell like? Do oh, I uh, sorry, or... sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, the... Uh, 
immediately what you notice is that the room on the other side of the doors smells very like damp and moldy. Mold. Not a good thing. There's actually uh, a little bit of moss creeping under the 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 door uh at your feet. Mm. I roll for nature to see if there's anything I know that would like to be in a place that moldy. Sure. Guidance. 20. Uh, I mean, it could be any range of creatures. Uh, you, it could be, um, it could be like a, like an ooze creature. It could be, um, a plant creature. It could be, um, some kind of, uh, cavernous animal. Um, it doesn't really narrow it down too much. Mm. Next, can I investigate the mold to see if it gives away anything or is it harmful at all? Uh, well, all you see is moss, but, um. Moss can be very deadly. Sure, you can take a closer look at it. Guidance. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, let me see here. Um. So, uh, the moss, the moss doesn't really give you any additional information. Uh, it looks similar to most other moss you've seen in the various, uh, forests and, um, trails that you've, uh, come across. So it's not harmful. The moss itself is not harmful, no. All right, I'm going back to the others. Okay. You can say, all right, just based off scent alone... There's one creature there. The room appears to be very damp and very full of moss. Also be mold as well. So I don't think it's another ogre. Kid shrugs and says, so let's go find out what it is. True, but something tells me it's dangerous and it won't go down without a fight. So do we take the risk, or do we take it down? I uh, look at everyone and say, well, we want to make sure this place is cleared out, so... Alright. Everyone, battle formation, please. Actually, I have an idea. I asked for Dina's ideas. So, my plan, before I do, I'm going to go back in here. How tall is it? How tall, how tall is the ceiling for my head? Uh, it's about the same as as everywhere else in the basement so far. Uh, so you only have, you yourself only have a couple feet of clearance. Could Babu theoretically fly on t on t above me? Babu is small enough to fly above you, yeah. Here's my plan. Abu will open the door, and then we can see what's in there from here. And then everyone will take pot shots, and me and Chomper, and possibly anyone else who wants to go in melee combat, will charge at it. Well, don't all give input at once. <laughs> it was... I like it. I have no idea what's going on, but sure. All right. So, uh, yeah, you guys send Babu in to... Yeah, hold it. Well, can everyone align themselves on this bottom so you guys can take pot shots while me and Chomper should have enough room to charge? All right. So, yeah, go ahead and... Position yourselves accordingly to what Dino's plan is, and uh, Babu is going to try to open the door. In front of me because he has less speed than I do. Give me a give me a, give me a strength check for Babu. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, if he rolls a natural twenty. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Ten. Uh, 
10. Uh, Babu only gets the door open a little bit. Not enough. Anyone else? He pushes both, uh, both oh, the double outside. doors. Sorry, I was muted. All right, so Cade goes in. Um, Cade, uh, you through the through the crack in the door. Um, you can you can see that the creature is a huge size, huge, uh plant creature of some kind uh it is pretty horrifying looking uh it kind of just looks like a um kind of like mass of plant matter with like a, a really big uh mouth and sharp teeth and two long thin uh vine like arms that are kind of just flailing about I'm going to back up slowly and quietly and then look at Dino and go, remember how I said we were going to clear this place out? I changed my mind. Aid, what's in there? Uh, uh, things that are bigger than you can go. That's concerning. It's a plant monster thing with viney arms and then and, and it's a plant that's huge. It's a huge, it's a sentient monster plant. I mm. do we have fire? Do we have fire? Cause can we burn this? I don't know if it'll actually resist it. I don't want to dodge a plant. Okay, calm down, calm down. First of all, I do have fire, but first of all, can you please step aside so I can take a look? <laughs> he willingly moves. Alright. Right, we'll look through to see what I find. So I know the I know the angle isn't necessarily right, uh, but you you see the same thing that Cade saw. You see this huge plant creature that is kind of just like thrashing about in this uh very uh sort of moldy looking um room uh you get glimpses of little uh pools that are filled with either like stagnant water or mud or possibly both um uh both i, I don't not to exclude Kate from having seen this stuff because Kate would have seen it too but um the the the, uh, the walls are kind of caked with mold and kind of like puffy looking fungus. Um, floor is covered with moss uh, completely, and uh, it almost it almost looks like there's like steam coming from somewhere in the room. And uh, mm. the, the the smell that comes forth is similar to like uh, like rotting vegetables. Okay, two things. One, does it look like it can move? Uh, yes. It looks like it looks like it has the ability to move. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. All right, new plan. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna ask Cade to go back over there so they can take pot shots whenever whenever necessary. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask the same for Babu because I sure as hell don't want him anywhere near that thing without the rest of us. All right, uh, I'm not gonna move tokens unless. Uh these people actually want to move, but, um, yeah, you've, they've been, uh, summarily told. Oh, I, uh, I will listen. <laughs> you, you have been told by Dino. <laughs> Kate doesn't want to die. Kate's going to move right All right, here's the plan. That's a, uh, smaller size space than what it can move. So my plan is to take pot shots at the damn thing. 
So I'm gonna unleash my final spell. My final, my final fourth level spell, Flame Strike. So either it'll take more damage because it's a plant, or it will take insane damage anyway. Once it realizes being attacked, it's gonna come through those doors, and then everybody that has a ranged attack is gonna take pot shots at the damn thing. It just kind of looks and goes, and you have fire, right? Yes, last, last, last uh, fourth of the slot. So it should deal a decent chunk out of him. As long as your fire keeps us kind of nodding along to the rest. However, I don't think it's persistent fire. It's more like a one and done. Hopefully it catches. Oh wait, it's not, it's not total fire damage. First half is fire, other half is divine the power, don't question anything. Point is, I suggest we take my last high-level spell slot, deal a good amount of damage to it. When it comes through, everyone unleashes spells, and then, me, then um, we're going to force it into the storage room so everyone can do as much damage as possible without anyone getting each other's way. Yeah, I can follow that. All right. So, uh, Urza, uh, Kat stays at the back. Um, she just gives a nod of acknowledgement of this plan, and she begins sort of like muttering to herself about uh, what kinds of spells uh, might be useful here. That was pretty appreciative. Uh, Ursuline is, I mean, she's muted, but um, I assume she's just going to stay where she yeah. is. I shoot things. That's my job. Yeah, okay. So you stay where you are then. Um, Chopper is staying back there too, or is he joining you? Oh, no. We're going to... Chopper doesn't have any range, so he's going to step back. Okay. About here is where he would... It would be... Yes. And then everyone's going to rush into this corner after it starts to come through. So everyone have enough room to take shots at it. Okay. So um, with that, uh, is everyone positioned where they want to be? Last call. Nothing. Nothing. I would say so. Yeah. Okay. That's so. Because as soon as I let this let let the flame strike, after I use it, I'm going back. That makes sense. I have a... The so after... Is... Wait, yeah, Chopper needs to go there. And this is and... the first thing I'm going to... And, 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 and so... Everyone agrees? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast this... I'm going to cast the spell. Nope. Alright. That's my... Uh, that's my uh, curse. Flame of, strike. Uh, cast on it. Alright, so... Doors open. Um, I will say that you would have had the spell ready, so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. After I catch the spell, oh, I'm going back here. So if that hit, that is the first one. Though. All right. So. Flame strike and bestow curse. Okay. I'm down my stair, I would say, for the moment that Gino opened the door and I made eye contact with this monstrous thing. Uh, yeah, I'll allow you to do that. So, okay. Let's resolve the flame strike first. That is a reflex save against 17 or half damage. That's an 8. Yes! Does it take any additional damage? It does not it's take any damage. additional damage, but it does take. Damn, like a man can dream. Does take thirty-four points. Um, it's divine and fire, half fire and then half divine. That's so awesome. All right. I'm not gonna lie. Closer no. of rock. Right, I'm going with right the now. now and back. Bestow curse. Will saving throw with painful stare penalty, or rather, hypnotic stare penalty. Uh, that's a six. So yeah, he can't heal naturally, and natural healing heals the victim 
but only half the usual amount of minimum one points. So fast healing and regeneration are also half. Okay. Um, kind of felt like a giant plant thing would have a lot of healing. Let me adjust that because uh, it actually does have one of those. Um, all right. <laughs> so I, I don't know what this is. I didn't look up any stats. I just took a guess from the fact that it is a giant green monster plant. After thing. we use your spells, dream. Okay, please move back. What sort oh, yeah, of no, I... what sort of curse are you placing on? The... That's the curse. What's you can that? Create your own curse. Oh, oh. And uh, that, that's the curse. The victim can't heal naturally. Can I not see it from my angle? The victim by only half the usual amount. Okay, and so uh, like yeah, yeah, I, I'll allow that. That's 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 creative. Uh, so yeah, so you've cursed, you've cursed this giant plant creature, um, affecting its uh, innate healing, and. Yeah, so your curse is successful. Um, so I'm, I grab Dream and pull him back with me. Okay. I can on my way back. No, yeah. I want to step forward and shoot it. Well, we'll trade places, then. And you can guard the doorway as a prize to get through here. I'll just come right here. That's all I need to do. Well, no. In a, on a surprise round, you don't get to move and attack. It's just you're holding an well, attack. That's what I was asking. Can I technically see it from where I'm at? Like, uh, open you, you, you can, yes. Would I be able to shoot it? Because it's at like 44 feet if I go from this. Yeah, you could take you can take one shot. I'll on do a, the one shot. On a surprise round, yeah. So you would have reload, reload your rifle during the downtime. And uh, yeah, you can take one shot. Oh my. Roll damage. <laughs> oh, it's deafened. Come on, it's a plant. It's deafened. It doesn't have. What's the third crit I've had tonight, guys? Uh, that's, that it is. That is a 19 on the fort save. Uh, that's it, yeah, saves. It's a plant, anyways. It's plant can still hear. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's roll initiative. <laughs> Does it not take the sonic damage if it take if it saves on that, though? Because instead of 51, it would be 62 if it takes the damage. Uh, I think it takes the sonic damage anyway. It's just, um... No, uh, it's, it's 62, then. I know. I did it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, it takes it takes the sonic damage no matter what. The saving throw is just for the uh, the deafening effect. Uh, all right, so let's roll some initiative. I can't imagine that this fight is going to go on for very long now, but let's let's see what happens. You sound so bad sad bad about that. How, how badly did I wound it? Uh, I'll, I'll I'll get to that once one of you gets with within sight of it. Um, That's how I can see it from where I'm at. Well, like, you know, a little bit of a closer look, rather. I know, I just got excited because of my issue. Anyone else's toenails get itchy or is that just me? Am I weird? That's that's well, weird. Okay. That's that's just strange. Okay. Uh, I am let's see. Cat initiative roll. 5% battery left. Let's go. How much? Five. Oh, no. Well, you get to go first. I'm going to so. pick this moment <laughs> with a, uh, a, on, uh, chocolate orange. Nice. Uh, so Cade goes first. I've used my last third of the spell. Um, so... As horrifying as this might be, I'm gonna walk up close enough so I can use hideous laughter on it. Okay. That <laughs> <laughs> giant. Uh, so close range would be. Uh, you would, you actually would only need. To, plus five. Yeah, you only would need to take one step into this hallway, to to be within range. Okay, cool. Then I'll do that. I'm still on the. Oh god. What if I... So, will saving throw. And it's still under my, uh, thing. That's a nine. Sure. Uh, however, it 
it is a plant creature, so it does it does benefit from immunity but to the stuff. Roll. So I know, I know, I it's it's gonna get a roll. It's gonna get a roll to <gasps> ignore it, but uh, yeah, it may be affected by hideous laughter. Wait, no, don't let it do this. It is Dino's turn. Actually, what's its intelligence score? Oh, oh no, and it's... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that before I end my turn because I can do that as a swift action before I end, right? Yes. Oops. Okay, so it's a different ah. creature type, so that becomes a 13. So yeah, it's still a failure. Um. Yeah. So bold stare, psychic conception, and uh, roll intimidate for the um, intimidation check. The intimidating That's glance, rather. Cool. Oh, I know. I'm trying to. Yeah. Okay, doing good things. Yeah, honestly, this plant creature is uh, too concerned with what the fuck just happened to wound it so mortally that uh, it doesn't even have the the thought capacity to be intimidated. But. That's her. That's honestly, her. Okay. this is a this is a very well executed plan. Uh, so Dino, go ahead. Hey man, on one hand we can continue with the plan and just take pop shots at it, which I can anyway, or I can just rush in and kill it. Decision, decision. Up to you. Oh, oh no, no, I have a better plan. Um, what's the plan? At the vector token. Oh god! All right. C Crocodino, or you're summoning. Summoning a crocodile. Okay. Uh, yep, I got it. Uh, it's it's size large, it's right? Size large. All right. Um, where is it being summoned? Uh, um, okay. Right in front of the doors. So yeah, you can see to the other side of the door. So right there. Yes. All right. Uh, I'm gonna move so I can see a little bit better. It it would have to move. It would have to take a five foot step to be within reach, but that's oh, fuck. Eh, no matter. Actually, wait. Take a five foot step, crocodile. Uh, yeah, it can. It actually can reach it because yeah, if it's if it's here, then that's ten feet. So yeah, it can reach. It doesn't need to take a step. I was wrong. Amazing. In one moment while I look for it, the crocodile sheet. This is a normal crocodile. Okay. So, plus five. He's normal size, so that means he gets a plus two. Alright. Seven. Come on. Hit. 20 just hits. Yes. Now, my boy gets 1d8 plus grab. Oh, no, plant, you can't say anything. No, that's the crocodile to the plant. There, there's, there was no specific music for this encounter, so I just went with the, the last one. No, I'm just playing uh, around with it. I know, I know. Damage. <laughs> How do you want to do this? <laughs> oh. Yeah, so to give you a summary of what's happened here, uh, this creature has just over 100 hit points. Really? <laughs> Dino took away a third of it with Flame Strike. Ursulin took away just about all of the rest of it. Uh, the fire damage as well as the bludgeoning damage shut off its regeneration. So this is a kill. You're welcome. Uh, even, even, even without yeah, we all work together. Even without Cade's curse being in play, yeah, like it's like the curse helped. Don't get me wrong, but all right, so the crocodile is just going to leap up, chomp down at its midsection where its ribs would be if it was to be a normal creature, and he's going for a death roll. Okay, so yeah, the <laughs> the crocodile <laughs> leaps 
leaps at the uh, the plant creature, grabbing it, taking it for a ride, just like in the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 select screen. You know, you know it. If you don't, if you don't. Yes. If you don't know it, you got to go watch it. I'm gonna take you for a ride. Right. Yeah, that one. Uh, That's the cat game. Goes goes on a full on death roll. Uh, emphasis on death, uh, leaving the the plant creature uh, very much deceased by the time it it is finished. And uh, yeah, that's the whole encounter. So yeah. <laughs> over right, i'm going yeah, in to see what else is in there all right so uh as you as you walk in um you notice that there's a door far to the north uh no other features in the room other than what i've already described in terms of moss and mold coverage um the, the horrible plant odor as well um so yeah that's uh that's what you see Tim? Yes. Victor start doing his uh, victory dance on top of the corpse. Oh, hell yeah. Yes! What exactly does this plant have on him? No, crocodile. If you have the stream open, you can see me doing the victory dance. <laughs> Just help go back and watch it. Yeah. I watched it. <laughs> uh... Okay, so it was basically the equivalent of this. I don't know. If, I don't know if anyone could see me spinning. Yeah, no, we we can't. That's that's why I said open up the stream. But yeah, um, all right. So, uh, oh Jesus Christ, hold on. Uh. So yeah, just only only the door to the north, um, which uh, upon inspection, uh, the door does have a lock on it. No. <laughs> Can't touch me. Can't do it. I predict where I'm moving. Nope, nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. Can't fix me. I'm broken. Damn it! <laughs> no. Damn it! I double clicked on my character. God damn it! Uh, I yeah. had to close out a screen. So again, uh, locked door in the north. Um, I'm gonna call everyone in here to let them know. Okay, it's already dead. Let's move on. Okay. So uh, yeah, cat. Cat comes in. And is Kid's like, gonna help. And is like, really, I didn't even have to do anything. And she <laughs> she looks at the at the plant creature and is just like, oh. Well that's that thing's ugly. That thing's absolutely hey, my crocodile ugly. did nothing to you. Not the crocodile. talking about the plant, you idiot. I can't be that much of an idiot for how well my plan went through. <laughs> that's actually true. You can true. be socially dumb <laughs> and very intellectually smart. Page that's, next that's actually really true. <laughs> that plan was kind of genius. Yeah, you you oh. you can be very smart but socially dumb. Okay, just snaps back at him. I'm actually I'm very uh very wise. So that's a I simple. know. I know. You know. I know. You're perfect. We get it. I like your plan. It was good. Yeah, Airsley, perfect. we got a locked door here for you. Oh, here yeah? the honors. Is is that my only use? You don't yes. want to brute strength it? No. Did, did I well, I'm sorry. I thought yes. you'd be proud of yourself for uh, doing that much damage. I'm going to turn around after I hear Cade say yes, and I'm just going to side-eye Cade and be like, really? I mean, considering you just yell at me to go talk to Rap, I'm sorry. Are you offended? I mean, slightly, being as since you're the only one that could talk to rats. If I could talk the to only rats, one who can break blocks. Talk to rats if time there's rats around, you, want, but you know. You, you know, do you, you want me you to break this lock? Oh, maybe maybe a couple shoves, of years later, shoves take a lock. Me. I say as I go to the lock, I'm complaining. No, Kate shoves past you. Can do this, but even cat can do this. Kate shoves past you and tries to open the lock. I'm stubbornness. 
Are you gonna try it before me? Go for it. <laughs> no. I want to see what you roll. Go for it. Give me guidance. Doing it before me. Else in the room. You roll a nat 20, I swear to God, there's gonna be some RPing happening here. So, oh, no. yeah, Urzlin so with, with a dirty actually, 20. No, and Cade is rolling before me, actually. Okay, so then, well then, Dino, like... Dino's guidance goes to Cade then, because that's... So, yes, it does, which, yes. what, am I, what am I rolling? Disable device. Disable device? <laughs> 16. Um, okay. Yeah, Cade, uh, Cade fails to pick the lock. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cross my arms and look at Cade and go, hmm. Like the biggest hump you could ever, ever fucking hear out of my mouth. It was just a hump. And then, uh... It just kind of, like, sheepishly backs off. Ursuline's, uh, 19 is good enough. Um, so she picks the lock, uh, opens it up, revealing a... Charge your chest! Uh, essentially, yes. It is just a oh, small closet-like room with one large chest sitting against the the far wall. Let me guess. It's locked. It is. Oh my god, damn. I didn't. I'm just going to bust the lock open. Utility shot. Careful, you, Actually, you might, you might I'm going to look at Kate and be like, inside. you want to try this one out? And it might be easier. Well, Cade, you want to try? Because <laughs> I could try talking to rats if you get this open. <laughs> that was... Cade just goes, no, no, no. You know what? Your points are made. That's oh, fine. man. That was dangerous. I was drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> water is dangerous. It causes 100% of drownings. Actually, more like 99, but yeah. I, that's lower, because I know a lot of people that have been drowned in Coca-Cola before. Why? That's why I said 99. I feel like it's 90. Alright, what do I have to do here? Is it a... Is it, uh... Disable device. Disable device again, or, or, or if you're actually using utility shot? Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, utility shot is... Last lock. Uh, make an attack roll against the lock with the first range increment of my firearm. So I have to basically sh shoot the lock. Um, yep. I guess I'll just do that. Ah, that's probably a fail. Uh, no, I mean, look, the, the these are ogres. They're not looking for, like, the, the finest of lock technology here. So, um, yeah, 17 is good enough, actually. It's actually just barely good enough. Um, you blast the lock. Uh, it comes free. <laughs> And I look at Cade and see, and I go, see, I can open locks more than one way. What about you? Can you talk to rats more than one way? <laughs> Erzlin's just pissed. That's all, she, all she's good for is opening locks at this point. I mean, she might be able to talk to special rats, like demonic rats or you rats. I realize with giant I can also brains. talk to sky rats like that. She can talk I'm to just, like three. I'm things. just gonna look at Cade and be like, no one asked. And I think I can also talk to wolves. Cade just rolls off, looking that I'm burying myself and realizing that this wasn't the point that I should be making and going. But you <laughs> no, can do a no, lot. Cade is sassy after crusading against a bunch of ogrekin. Cade looks for Ursuline and just okay, kind of like face yeah, so the chest uh, sort of hangs <laughs> open slightly. Uh, Ursuline opens it up, and I'll get the I'll get the smaller items out of the way first. Um, so the first thing you find is a gold ring that has been studded with uh with agate. Um, agate, aggravate. There is uh, a necklace made of silver and emeralds. Um, there Identify. is. There's a pair of uh, leather gloves that have been studded with pearls. Ooh, pretty. I don't want them. Uh, the last smaller item here is it looks like it almost looks like a, a clasp that would go on like a cloak, but this one appears to be like extremely well made, like as well as the materials used. Uh, this is actually. It looks like it was made with uh, part of a uh, a red dragon scale. And Somebody put tape on the cat's foot, and the cat is running around the house. And it's been uh, it's been inlaid with a ruby. 
Ooh, rubies. That's my birthstone. No, it's not. Not in game, but in real life it is. Um, Same. There are also an amount of coins. Uh, I will get those amounts to you. Do any of these things have magical powers? I asked Dream, Kate, or Cat. Uh, well, I, I'm not done, but uh, yeah, I'm sure that they will want to look at those items. So let's see here. All in good time. Let's get everything else out. That those are the coin amounts. Oh wow, that's a lot. All right, um, I'll do my math real quick. Uh. The rest of the stuff in the chest uh, looks like all of the gear that belongs to the uh, the Black Arrows. So, here's a question: Are we reserving a portion of the money for Edge or not? I say yes. Okay, cool. I'll calculate the stuff from the other uh, room that we got before. Okay. Uh, so the items, uh, the items within the chest that, uh, look more like adventuring gear. Uh, there is a very well-made composite longbow. Um, there is also, uh, there's a long sword that looks like it's pretty well-made as well. Uh, there is a set of, uh, studded leather armor. There is, let's see here. Um, a set of chain mail. Uh, there is another composite longbow that looks uh, still nice, but of lower quality than the first one. Uh, there are two axes. One is a battle axe, so a larger axe. Uh, the other is a smaller hand axe, uh, both of very fine make. Uh, there's also a, uh, a rapier that is of pretty fine make, uh, a dagger, that uh, looks looks solid. There is uh, a third composite longbow that uh, looks closer to the second one than the first one. And there is a pretty nice looking set of leather armor as well as a ring. Um, as far as what's actually there magically, uh, let's see. Cat will do detect magic. I want to know what that ring is. Uh, yeah, Dream, you can go ahead and roll Spellcraft for everything if you like. Give him guidance. 18, that'll be good enough. Uh, okay, so a lot of, uh, a lot of general, uh, enchantments on a lot of these things. Um, the, uh, the leather armor hits, the rapier hits, both axes hit for those types of magic. Uh, as well as I might be missing something here. Uh, nope, that'll, that's all for those. Um, the ring has, uh, abjuration magic inside. And the, the really nice, uh, longbow has uh, evocation magic within it. What's that stuff do? Let's try to figure out what the ring does. So the ring is a plus one uh, ring of protection. Oh, I have one of those. Uh, that is going to be... It's a plus one bonus to uh, AC. It is of the uh, deflection variety of bonuses. So if you don't have anything else that gives you a deflection bonus, that would be of use. Um, the longbow is a uh, plus one uh, shocking composite longbow. Um, the shock property... Let's see here, I have it. Uh, the shock property makes this weapon deal an extra uh, 1d6 points of electricity damage on a successful hit. Um, the rest of the stuff, uh, the battle axe and the hand axe are just generic plus ones. Um, the 
leather armor has a plus one. And the rapier has a plus one. Uh, the dagger is masterwork. And that is it. Everything else is mundane. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The longsword is also masterwork. So I'll, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll type that out to kind of summarize. So if no one else wants the ring, I'll take it. Have a ring? Oh, first, let's make sure that none of this no. stuff is actually theirs. Who's? Yeah, the three dudes that we came across. This is likely their gear. Oh, it's probably possible. ours. Well, I mean, is it really theirs? I mean, they got kidnapped by Ogrekin, and we're going to need their help to take back that fort from that Medusa. I say let's, let's give them back their gear. Holding onto a ring as the uh, re reward is simply terrible. Well, I'm sure if you ask nicely, they might give it to you. But until then, let's save it for them. It just looks a dream, and Miles, you you carry it. <laughs> uh... And then. Uh... So then I also look and say, does that mean we're not taking the gold? We're taking the gold. Well, yeah, this is a chest here. This is probably their gold. Not the gold, like the ogre's gold. Oh, I uh, say that should be ours. But for all the other items, I say let's wait off until we claim whose is whose to see if any of that belongs to the rangers. Everything, anything that's not theirs will split off fairly. Yeah, th those are all the gear pieces. Nice. Yeah, that, the gear pieces are probably theirs, now that I look at it. How about we leave, how about we leave everything in the chest, except the gold for now, because we already split it up. We go to the other room, see what's in it, and... Then we'll come back and we'll just grab the entire chest. Yeah, you could be like Ursuline, bringing that chest out of the attic. <laughs> yeah, but Chomper is strong. Yeah, of course. Of course. But for now, let's make sure that there's no, no, nothing else in here. Let's, let's try that again. I asked a question. But I RTC'd out, so... What was, the, what was your question? Um, the the gloves with the pearls on them, is that part of the gear, or is that part of, like... No, that was part of the first set of items. I, I lumped that in with, like, the costume jewelry. Uh, actually, wait, the, those uh, those gloves are magic. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, um, good thing I, I came back in time to remind you of it. The magic on those is... Also, abjuration magic. Um, they are the following. Oh, that is not what I wanted to open. All phones dead. No. Rip. So yeah, you you wear you if you wear these gloves, uh, it's a hand slot item as you might expect. Uh, you gain the benefits of the snatch arrows feat. What's that? Mm. Snatch arrows. It, it it's basically like the like the monks like five e you know like deflect shit. Uh, so let's see here, uh, snatch arrows. Uh, when using the deflect arrows feat. Uh, so yeah, you instead of like knocking away a ranged attack that is towards you, uh, well, it, deflect arrows is a prereq, so let me start there. Um, once per round, when you would normally be hit with an attack from a ranged weapon, you may deflect it so that you take no damage. Uh, instead, you can catch the attack instead of uh, deflecting it away. 
you have to be aware of the attack and you cannot be flat footed in order to utilize this. Um, attempting to deflect a range attack does not count as an action. Um, unusually massive ranged weapons such as a boulder or a ballista bolt or uh, any ranged attack generated by a natural attack or a spell effect cannot be deflected. Um, the upgrade for snatching the thing is you can use your uh, immediate action to throw the projectile back at the attacker uh, right away, or you can hold on to it for later use. Damn, that's pretty good. Yeah. So that's what those gloves do. If we decide not to sell it, I recommend giving it to one of the frontliners, just so when, when uh, not only we are not affected by normal things, that would definitely help. I'd say we leave it for Edge. All right, so if no one, no one else objects, also I think Kate left because phone died. So yeah. we leave the chest here for now, we explore the other place, and then we come back for it. Okay, uh, so if that's Should all we... Should we not take the gear to the people? We got one more room to investigate, so I'd say we do that first. But um, it's the room with the giant plant guarding their treasure, which was probably oh, the, a like this plant. was the, like this was along the bottom room. Yeah, there we was still have a top room to explore. There was the door to yeah. to Dino's right that was not opened. Um, okay. When you first got in. So you guys. Before we leave. All right, can you? Oh, hi. Both of my dogs came, just came down here and they're all wet from the rain. Uh, all right. So, yeah, all you guys move that way. Uh, I'd already opened the door. So upon entering this room, uh, the first thing that you all notice, uh, this is a pretty dark uh, corner of the basement. Uh, it smells of old blood and like rot. Uh, there are piles of uh, gore uh, spattered skin that are lying heaped on the floor. Uh, they're on the very top of this Not pile. Uh, there is a rubbery looking uh, face. Uh, just the just the flesh of the face. No no supporting skull or anything like that. Um, so it's not leather face? No. Um, okay. Or is it? It's resting on the top. Its mouth is wide open. Uh, no teeth to be to be found um, and empty empty looking eyes uh, revealing only the the layer of skin resting beneath them um, this this appears to be uh, some kind of trophy making room or um, sort of like a, a, a slaughterhouse for things that are already dead all right I want to make a quick perception, make sure there's nothing hiding. Okay, sure. 18. Uh, you give a pretty good look around the room. Uh, you don't you don't see anything of value in here. You say, all right, uh, good search, everyone. I don't think there's anything here, so I see we collect the chest and we head on out. Also, Tim, question. Yep, what's up? For Chomper's light load alone is 533 pounds. And right now, he has about 800, 800, sorry, 85 pounds. So the chest and everything in it, does it exceed more than 400 pounds? Uh, it, 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 it shouldn't. Um, and then Chomper can just carry it out with ease. Yeah, I don't think there was any, I don't think anything in here combined would, would make it that much uh i mean like the chain mail is probably the heaviest thing there and the chain mail itself only weighs uh only weighs 40 pounds so 
I don't I don't think it would be too much of a problem for Chopper to for you guys to really just sling the chest on top of Chopper's back and uh, get on out. Yeah, so. I think that that's the play. All right. So with that settled, uh, you guys head on back to the barn. Uh, upon, arri- upon arriving, um, everyone is pretty much as you left them. Um, Shalalu continues to tend to uh, Jakardros uh, a little, little bit more specifically than the other two, uh, given the um, concern that she had initially expressed. Um, they, uh, The mood between the two of them specifically seems a bit better than it was when you left um just on just a cursory look at the body language that they're expressing when you first walk in um shalalu uh stands up and says well how'd it go it's complete they're all cleared out nothing left is down there perfect that's that's great um did you did you happen to find any um any of their equipment or any other interesting loot that the ogres may have been hiding? Actually, yes. We actually did find what I'm guessing is their, uh, their equipment, as well as some li- nice little uh, magical items to boot. Okay, perfect. Um, let's... Uh... Let's have a look. And she, uh, she sees, she sees the big box on Chopper's back and, uh, she goes to assist, um, any of you really in, uh, getting it off of Chopper's back. Um, the first thing that she sees, uh, right on top is the, uh, the, the, the shocking, uh, longbow. Um, and, uh, her, her eyes go wide when she sees it. Uh, she, she, uh, grabs it and, um, very, uh, gently, uh, hands it over to, um, Jakardros. Um, she, she says, well, I, uh, I have to say that I don't, I don't know what my reaction would have been if we had found this equipment before. Um, before rescuing them, but um, I, I suppose I should uh, tell you about um, why I was so uh, so adamant about finding them, and, and especially uh, Jakardros here. Um, are they your polyamorous relationship and all the are all of them your husbands? No. God no. Oh. No, that would close. Jakardros. Like, even after Crusadian gets a whole bunch of ogre can, you can't be serious for too long, can you? Nope. Ugh. Continue. Jakardros and I go back um quite <laughs> a bit. Uh he had he had come to the place where I grew up and him and his fellow, um, well, his adventuring party at the time, uh, stopped a, a dragon from sieging, um, this, uh, this town that I grew up in and Jakardros, uh, is growing a little bit impatient with the story. And he says, listen, stop, dancing around it. I'm her stepfather. <laughs> wow, that was the twist I was not expecting. My my party had gone to the elven village of Crying Leaf and we She's right. We we prevented a, a dragon siege um although my entire party died in in the fight. Um so I gave up adventuring and I I fell in love with 
Shalulu's mother after she nursed me back to health. And I remained there for about three years. Until uh, the, the dragon somehow was resurrected and came back, tried to siege the, the town again. And again, with the help of the, the elves there who were great fighters in their own right, we we defeated the dragon once more. However, is he resurrected again? No, and Shalalu cuts him off, and she says, "My mother was killed." And no, oh, well, yeah, I already knew that part. And seemingly, it it felt like as soon as it was over, and she turns and faces him as she's saying this now, and she says. It seemed like as soon as it was over, you left. You just abandoned me and left me to pick up the pieces. And Jakardros doesn't say anything in response for a little bit. It's uh, kind of an uncomfortable silence. Um, and then he finally says, you're right. I I did abandon you, and soon after I fell in with the Black Arrows, I had I had thought that joining a new group would give me I don't know some some kind of purpose or, or some some way that I could right the wrongs, you know, even if it just meant forgetting about everything that happened in, in Crying Leaf. And for for a while it, it worked, but I had I had grown I had grown tired of feeling everything that I had been feeling. I I didn't want to I didn't want to be alive anymore. I I, I I became a severe hazard to myself. I, I listen, fighting against these these ogres at the fort. Um, you know when they would mount their offensives, and you know all of it to me was just a search for a worthy foe that could give me the the death that I deserved. And at this point, uh, I think Ogre King or Worthy will kill you. Oh, well, those that were attacking the fort, they're legitimate ogres. Oh. They're, How'd you end up here? They're ogres through and through. How did they end up here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I had mentioned earlier, uh, they, they were on a patrol and they came back to find that their fort had already been sacked. So they they fled uh, away from it to the south, and they were, uh, they were already uh, weakened a bit. And they got then they ran into these ogres or the ogre kin, and um, yeah, they scooped them up and captured them. Uh, as as he's going on about his um, sort of depression and kind of like suicidal tendencies. Uh, Vale, the bigger guy, he speaks up and he says, yeah, and you almost got us killed with you a number of times. Now, don't get me wrong, yeah, friend. I don't, I, don't get me wrong, friend. I, I love the thrill of the fight myself, but some of the things you, you were doing, man, are just straight up reckless. Um, Kaven kind of just nods. He he doesn't say anything. Um, Jakardros turns back to Shalalu and, and he says, yeah, that's, that's all true. Um, however, while our newfound friends here were recovering the things that we need to be able to fend for ourselves, 
I I realize now that I do have a a, a true purpose and I want to thank you for reminding me that remind, reminding me of that uh -huh. and um okay Are you sure what no, like fucking rude uh <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I, I feel like this is what Kat would chime in with, like, this is feeling kind of cliche right now. With all the smut and romance books she reads and all that stuff. Perhaps. Perhaps she would say that. Um. But, anyway, he... He just looks at Shalala and he says, I will not fail you like I failed your mother. And that's a promise. And she simply just places her hand on his shoulder and she says, I know. Hey, at least this family got reunited, unlike the last one we helped. I think he's going to step forward to them both, like all three of them, mm -hmm. and say, I'm glad that you made up and everything, but I'm I, I'm sorry to say this, but the battle's not over yet. Ogre King are done, but Fort Rannick is still under, is still under Ogre control right now. Yeah. Hey guys, yeah. I'm going to have to get off um, before I'm asleep. All right. Uh... Yeah, so I'll I'll kind of wrap up then. Um, so yeah, Jakardros uh, says, yeah, that is a very pressing matter that I I hope to take care of as soon as possible. I'm sorry to say, but there's a much bigger there's potentially a much bigger threat at Fort Rannick than than any ogre could possess. What's that? Lamia. Magical prowess, spell resistance, and can hit hard. Wait, I thought we killed the Lamia. Yes, but that was at Magnamar. There's another, supposedly there's another assuming... one at Fort Rannick. We're, so we're just assuming that her sister, or whatever, or brother, or older sibling is just another Lamia? What else would she be? I don't I... You don't have to be the same species to be a brother or sister. Close enough. Yeah. Especially this is so called this is the us. younger one. This is the older one, then it's just, this was gonna put up a much bigger fight than the last one. And the last one you barely escaped with our lives after killing her. Well My point is there's more to be done, I'm afraid. And we're going to need all the help we can get. I, I believe you. And trust me, once once we're feeling like our old selves, which needs to be soon based on what you're telling me, you will have us at your side. Now, let's let's talk strategy of how to get in and how to deal with this issue. And we're going to end there. All right. Just because Rob has to go. And Allie's already. I'm sorry for saying cliche, but like, as you were saying it, I was like, this sounds like oddly familiar. I mean, you're not insulting me. I didn't. Wise. You're not insulting me. I didn't write that, but. I don't. I, I don't no, think. It, I, I don't. I don't think you're wrong. I mean, is, it, is it cliche? Or is it, it, it is. Classic? It is slightly cliche with like a renewal and where as soon as he said, I found new purpose and like his, he left his stepdaughter and i'm just like ugh, cliche i mean again in in my defense at least i'm not going to defend the materials but it, it literally says in this dude's stat block that his life outlook shifts dramatically once they reconcile so okay yeah no i get that from uh, a dm's perspective i get it but from like a writer's perspective god pathfinder writers need to work harder stronger better. well 
uh, again, now, 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 now I'm going to, now, like now I'm going to defend them a little bit because this was their first adventure path that they wrote like as Pathfinder granted this, oh. when this, when this was written, this was still in terms of game rules, this was still in D and D 3.5, but this was the first Pathfinder adventure path. And this was written in like 2007 or it was released in 2007. So yeah, it's been a while. And uh, I assure you in reading some of the later stuff that they've done that their writing has gotten a lot better. So, okay. So okay, since it's the first thing they've worked on, <laughs> fine. They get a pass, but God damn, I could, I could picture what they drew it, like inspiration from. Also, considering that this is uh, an adventure about, uh, you know, hillbilly redneck Billy ogres, Billy. like, would you would you expect anything that isn't campy? Like, <laughs> that's. I mean, to be fair, hillbilly redneck ogres are is far out of left field. Like, this is not I was expecting in the slightest. And I love it. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. I mean, I didn't expect it either. When I first started reading this, this whole book, I was I was like, oh, my God, they didn't actually do this, did they? And I kept reading it and I was like, yeah, they did it. And it's far more ridiculous than I ever would have expected. <laughs> but all right. So on that note, um, we're going to uh, in the stream here. Uh, join us uh, next week as we begin discussing how to retake Fort Rennick uh, until, until next plans until next Sunday. Uh, you know, we hope uh, we hope you're safe out there and still, not catching COVID because that's all anyone ever wants to talk about these days. And uh, given that today is the last day of, if you're, if you're a sports fan, given that today is the last day of the NFL regular season, I hope your team made the playoffs because mine sure shit didn't. <laughs> and anyway, uh, have a good week. We'll see you next Sunday. Some Texans for life. Oof, man. That's almost as bad as my situation. Hey, they suck, but you gotta support them. That's like the one rule of football. I mean, I'm a Jets fan, bro. I've I have severe disdain for my team. <laughs>